What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, super excited to bring you guys an executor team in ranked regulation F. Now, Executor is from Gen 1, so everybody loves this Pokemon, especially because in Generation 1, there wasn't that many grass types used during a playthrough, so Executor was actually used a lot. But Executor, gonna be definitely viable on the rank regulation F ladder because you can use it multiple different ways, especially with this team. Executor pairs up with a Torkoal, you can use it in the sun, doubling its speed, putting Pokemon to sleep, or just attacking at that point, or you can use it as an expanding force user because it has expanding force and it is stab because it is psychic typing. So we're gonna be pairing up with Indeedee and Hatterene, getting that terrain set and just dominating with expanding force. Oh, yeah. Executor has Chlorophyll, doubling its speed, it's got Focus Ash, and then its other moves consist of Energy Ball, Sleep Powder to put Pokemon to sleep, and last but not least, it does have Protect. Like I mentioned, we have Torkoal. Torkoal's going to be able to thrive out on its own with the Trick Room, or just pairing it up with Executor, then the other two Pokemon are going to be Hatterene and Indeedee. Great Pokemon to set up Trick Room, great Pokemon to spam Expanded Force, you guys seen them plenty of times on the rank ladder. Our final two Pokemon today is going to be Urshfu and Iron Bundle. They're going to be the speedsters of the team, considering Urshfu has Choice Scarf and Iron Bundle has Booster Energy to boost speed. Using both these Pokemon, you can get off some big time damage and really control the match with their speed alone. Guys, you want to rent this team for yourself? The rental code is at the top right hand corner. And if you do enjoy today's video, make sure you like it up and subscribe to the channel. But without further ado, let's hop into match number one. First match is on its way, and I want to give a huge shout out to the team creator. Evan, huge shout out to you. Found this team over on Twitter. Realize you're a viewer of the channel, so I gotta give you a huge shout out. We'll be leaving the Poke Pace down in the description below, alongside with a link to his pages. But we're going up against a rain team here in Master Room. Once a rain, we gotta actually count on that with our son, Torkoal, and I'm gonna definitely be bringing in Torkoal in the back end. But a good lead for us could be Indeedy and Hatterene, or Indeedy and Executor. Let me see Executor's stats real quick. Not bad speed, 117. I like its special attack with 177, but Hatterene's not bad here as well. So I could go Hatterene. I could also go in with Indeed. That's not bad for us. And then go Executor Torkoal. Because Executor is grass type too. It can deal with the water type Pokemon, such as Politoed. Huh. Who do I want to lead here? Definitely Indeedee, right? Definitely Indeedee. They could go Indeedee and Terrakion too. They could go Indeedee, Terrakion. Not Terrakion, what's that Pokemon? Iron Crown. So they have that combo as well, but I think we have to go into Executor and then go Torkoal and last but not least, let's go Hatterene. Let's go Hatterene. Let's go Hatterene. So we could save Executor for late game or like I'm doing now, I'm leading it now. Maybe we could put a Pokemon to sleep and really get after it. But I can always swap Executor into Torkoal whenever I want, right? Just get the sun out, especially when Trick Room is set up. Executor, not really that fast to really, or that slow, I should say, to be thriving out in Trick Room. So I'd rather just save it for the back end. But we'll see. We'll see. It does have Focus Ash, which is good. And they're going to end up leading Double Genie. So they got Double Genie out here. Um, hmm. Definitely want to go in the Trick Room. Do I just protect Executor? I think I am just going to protect Executor. Trick Room here. And then just protect this guy. Because they could most likely think it's going to follow me Trick Room. Because Executor does learn Trick Room. But I'm just going to protect him. Because Bleak Windstorm looking rather scary, right? It's looking rather scary. So we're going to protect Eggs. And they're going for a Bleak Windstorm. Hopefully they're doubling down into the Executor slot. Trying to KO it. Because if I lose Indeed here, that's going to be tough news. That is definitely going to be tough news for us. And it's going to be a Sandseer Storm. Indeed, you should be able to soak up Sandseer Storm, right? Indeed, you got this all day, baby. All day. You're dodging anyway. All day. All day. So Trick Room out and about. Um, helping hand. Expanding force. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad play here, right? Not too shabby. I could terrestrialize him too. And that's exactly what we're doing. We're going straight into the terror type. We're looking to get off as much damage as we can. And on top of that, we get to dodge the uh We get to dodge the bleak wind storm damage, right? So Trick Room's here. They could end up swapping into other Pokemon. Hopefully they swap into like a rain user or maybe try to set the rain. In that case, then eventually I could take out Sun. And we still have Sun in the back end, which is good with two very good uh, Pokemon in the trick, Hatterene and Torkoal. So let's see what they end up doing here. I am very curious. I hope they just stay in, right? I hope they just stay in. And they are, cool. So we're hitting that Terra button. We're going straight Psychic, doubling our expanded force damage, which is already doubled in the terrain. 
which is awesome. And then on top of that, like I said, we're taking away our weakness of the flying type moves. That's beautiful. It's lovely. And we're helping hand boosting. We ain't playing around. Clap, 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 clap. Cool. You should be slower than both these guys and you should go next. And Land is going to end up protecting. Not bad. Not bad protect. Are you double protecting? I doubt it. Though. Cool. Expanded force flying. Are you sashed? Or are you just going to be able to soak this up? Let's see. Expanded force cooking. And it is going to do a ton of damage. You're going to bring out your focus sash. Now, this thing sashes up. That's not too bad. And they're just going to go for a bleak with storm. Can you dodge it, Executor? You do. You do dodge it. That's so big. That's so big. So from here, another helping hand expanding force is definitely going to be our play. I could actually put that left slot to sleep because they're probably going to swap uh, Lando here. But I just think more damage is better. So let's just keep attacking. Let's just keep attacking UC's turns. Hopefully they KO the Indeedee as soon as possible. Because we want Indeedee going. We want a stronger Pokemon to come in hot here. But they do end up with drawing that. Probably Iron Crown's going to come out here or Indeedee of their own. Hopefully not. Hopefully it's just some Pokemon that's going to take some damage. It's going to be Politoed, which I don't mind. It's going to set the rain. I have Torque on the back end. So I don't mind this damage right here. I do not mind this damage. So right now, Executor is just driving. He really is. He really is. Expanded Force coming out here. Doing some more damage. Going to take out the uh, the Tornadus and just dump on Politoed. Oh my lord. Do we still have, I think, two turns left in Trick Room? And I can take away I can take away rain whenever I want. I can take away rain whenever I want. But the thing is, if I take away rain and leave Executor on the floor, then what's it called? Then we have a huge, big time problem because then I'm gonna double my speed. And right now he is slower than both, both their Pokemon. So he brings out the final two. And it's these two. And from here, we have two turns left in Trick Room, which is beautiful. And I think we just helping hand again and we go expanded force. <laughs> we just showcase this side of Executor, right? Something I actually really like. I do like this a lot. Maybe next match we'll lead Executor and Torkoal. Just put somebody to sleep and then have Torkoal maybe drop a heat wave, get off some big time damage. And kind of go from there. But they're going to end up terrestrializing. They're going to put their terror on. There's no way this is what's going. I was going to say land or go and poison because that would just be ridiculous. So they're just going to go straight electric with the zip zap. So again, I believe Zapdos is faster than Executor at 116. And Executor should be able to get off another expanding force. He ends up protecting Lando. So we still have one turn left in Trick Room, which is huge. One turn left in Trick Room, and expanded force is going to fly. How much damage is this doing to the Zapdos? It dumped on the Politoed. And Politoed I see as a bit bulkier Pokemon. But expanded force is flying. This move is just overpowered. It is just overpowered. It is just overpowered. We're one-shotting meta Pokemon. Absurd. So Executor is going to sweep here, match number one. No problem. <laughs> no problem whatsoever. Set up Trick Room and just do Helping and Expanded Force. Our, po our opponent's probably so upset. Probably like, come on, man. Expanded Force again. But this time it's with Executor. I had to use it, right? I had to use it. Tries to go for Double Protect. Womp womp. RNG not on their side. Expanded Force flying. We can say bye-bye to Lando. Executor being overpowered. Expanding force and everything in match number one. On to match number two, and we're probably not going to do that again. We use four moves that match protect, trick room, and then helping hand expanding force for five turns. So that was fun to use, one showcase with Executor, but expanding force spam isn't that fun to watch. I'll, I'll be honest, I'll be the first to say it. So we just want to showcase that off. Not going to do that again. In this match, we're going up against. A first turn priority spam team. So Indeedee's an absolute must to bring. So I'm going to bring Indeedee here. I'm actually just going to lead Indeedee. And I'm actually going to bring in a Pokemon maybe like Torkoal. Yeah, that's something I actually really like. Going Indeedee, Torkoal, and maybe just follow me. And then land in a bunch of heat waves and stuff like that. And then bring an Executor in the back end. That's something I actually really like. And then final Pokemon would probably be the Iron Bundle. Iron Bundle just really thrives. It outspeeds a lot. It's going to be super effective onto a lot. Right? You have Hydro Pump. Tell me you have Hydro Pump. You don't have Hydro Pump. That kind of hurts. That kind of hurts. Because we're going to need a way to deal with Entei, right? I do have Earth Power on Torkoal, which is a bad. But I like this a lot. I definitely like this a lot. Iron Bundle is going to outspeed. Super effective onto the Dragons. Onto the Ogre Pond. It's something that's really good. But if you had Hydro Pump, you would be even more perfect. Even more perfect. But we'll see. 
We'll see. I could see them lean Chen Pao and potentially just going for a... A what's it called? What is that move? Ice Spinner breaking the train. <clears throat> That's definitely an option. We're not even going to set the trick room here. We're just going to go slow Pokemon and hold the fort down, right? Well, one slow Pokemon. Executor will double its speed. And then we kind of go from there. We'll see who they go. Anything but Shen Pao. It's always Shen Pao. So Shen Pao, again, going to Ice Spinner. Going to take out the terrain, no problem. So maybe do I just swap in DD here? Because I could swap in DD, say, into Iron Bundle, but I really don't want to. I kind of want to. Actually, screw it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's swap in DD. I doubt you double down in Torkoal. I doubt you double down in Torkoal. I doubt you double down in Torkoal. We're just going to swap him into Iron Bundle. Iron Bundle's going to take a good amount of damage, but I do like this. I do like this. It's something I do like. This is something I do like. So I'm going to swap. I'm predicting the Ice Spinner coming into this slot. You could be Thunderbolt in this slot, too. It's getting scary. It's getting real scary. But I'm going to boost your energy. I'm going to boost my speed. I'm going to boost my speed. Speed is heightened. Protect coming out from you, and you're going to Ice Spinner break the train. We already know that's happening. We already know that's happening. Yeah, see, I've seen that coming all day. So you're still going to take a chunk of damage here. Actually, not really. That's a great swap for us. And they take away the train. And guess what? Now I get to go for Heat Wave. And I get to do some nice damage. So now from here, I could just Encore... No, we're not going to Encore. We're just going to protect you. I want to Ice you. I really do. And that's actually exactly what I'm going to go for. I'm going to go for Icy Wind, and I'm just going to hard swap Torkoal out of here. Into Indeed. I'm going to set the train again. Just set the train, right? Makes the most sense. And slow him down at the same time, and pick up KO. So, let's get the train back. We need this train. We need this train, because these first turn priority Pokemon, just an absolute pain in the neck. Just a big time pain. So, I'm going to swap into Indeed here. Bring the train back out on the field. You're not allowed to Thunderclap, and you're not allowed to Sucker Punch. Get that out of here. And he's going to protect him, though. That's fine by me. I got Iron Bundle on the field all day. And are you going for Thunderclap? You are. It's big time. That's big time. Big time swap for us. Big time swap for us. So Ice Human's going to come across here. I'm just going to spam that. And I might pop Trick Room. I just might pop Trick Room. Actually, I really don't want to pop Trick Room. From here, we're just going to drop another Ice Human to finish off Shen Pao. And we're just going to go for Dazzling Link. Let's try to get off as much damage as we possibly can here. You guys are slower than my Iron Bundle. My Iron Bundle can pick up some KOs. They might end up swapping out Shin Pao here. They might. But that's a great swap for us turn one. Reading the Ice Spinner and everything working out perfectly. Then bring it back out the terrain. To stop first turn prior to again. We just can't allow it. So we have some Blitzer on Shen Pao. He's going to save for later. So this next Pokemon's taking an Icy Wind and a Dazzling Gleam. Which we love. It's going to be Entei. And this Pokemon can actually soak those shots all day. So out comes this. And he actually dodged the Icy Wind, which is crazy. And Dazzle Gleam's gonna outspeed now and almost KO the Raging Bull. Almost. See, this, here's my little problem right here. It's going to be Entei here. The Thunderbolt's gonna pick up the KO, and now I might just bring out Torkoal. Did I bring out Torkoal? Actually, no. Now I'm definitely bringing out Executor. We need to start doing damage onto this, uh, onto this Entei. And now that we have double speed, Expanding Force isn't a bad play. Even though I spammed it last game, I think, like, we have to use it right now. I could actually put Entei to sleep. And actually, I like that a little bit better here. Let's put Entei to sleep first. And let's just Dazzling Gleam finish off Raging Bolt. Yeah, I'm cool with that. So cool with that. More than cool with that. More than cool with that. More than cool with that. So I have Sun for a couple more turns here. Sleep Powder's going to connect. We say night, night to Entei. Go to sleep. We're not dealing with you, dude. We're just going to put you to sleep. So Entei's going to be slumped. And Dazzling Gleam's going to finish off Raging Bull. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad at all. So they could bring back out Shen Pao. It's definitely an option. Definitely an option. But in this case, I'm just going to Terrasilize. I have Focus Ash, and I need to kill- Like, I need Entei dead. If we're gonna win this match, we need Entei dead. So, they end up going back into Shen Pao. 
I don't think he can pick up a KO onto me. I think we just thrash slice expanded force for damage output, right? We should outspeed it. I believe you outspeed. And I understand that he's going to break terrain here. But at this point, I could just pop Tricker. Just set up for my Torkoal to win this match. No, no, no. We're just going to make sure Shit and Pal dies out here. So I'm Terrasalizing. I'm looking to do as much damage as I possibly can. I should go first here. If you go for Ice Spinner, you go for Ice Spinner. Entei's going to be probably asleep this turn. And Executor does have Focus Ice, which is beautiful. The Protect comes out from Shen Pao. That's totally fine by me. And we're going to keep attacking. Expanding Force. We're back on the Expanding Force stream. The Expanding Force coming out here from Executor. This Pokemon is ripping today. Ripping today. Nice damage right there. And he's still asleep. That's massive. That's massive. So from here, we can just do the same thing next turn. We can just do the same thing next turn because I do outspeed. And Psychic Terrain is in full effect. <clears throat> so they can't use first turn priority moves. So Executor thriving. The Sunlight all oh, does fade. We actually, we actually should bring it back out. We actually should bring the Sunlight back out here. We need that speed. Actually, no. Do we? Do we need that? Do we need that Sunlight? I could actually just pop a trick from here and protect. <clears throat> I could pop a chicken, but then they get first turn priority. We definitely want to expand and force you. He could wake up. He could wake up. But then they would have to double down into me. I'm just gonna attack. I'm just gonna double down with attack. I don't think we need to sun like that. Ice spinner's gonna come through here. It's gonna break terrain. No big deal. You soaking needy. And you're gonna actually die the Rocky Helmet. That's, that's massive. That's massive. I have Focus Sash, so we're good. Yeah, this is, this is fine turn by me. Crunch can come through here. We're gonna Sash up. Actually, not even. We soak pretty well. Beautiful. Expanded Force comes across here. We're gonna finish off the Entei. And now I really have full control of this match. Because I can just swap in DD into the Sun. I can put the next Pokemon to sleep. I can pop Trick Room if I want to. Yeah, I like it. I like it. So, Executor coming in clutch here, bringing him out at the perfect time, but more so Indeedee. We knew we needed Indeedee from turn one. Once I seen their team, especially everyone who they brought, just all first turn priority. Is this going to be Dragonite? It is. So, they brought Shen Pao in all first turn priority, and their plan was to stop the Psychic Terrain. That was their plan the whole time. So, from here, I'm just going to sleep out of you, and I'm just going to follow me shots. I'm just going to follow me these shots. Yeah, that's my play. That's so funny. Actually, oh my god, I should have swapped the sun. What am I doing? What am I doing? I should have swapped the sun. What am I doing? We actually got a little problem on her hand right now. We actually have a little problem on her hand. Actually, okay, follow me came out beforehand. I was going to say, if you E speed, that would go before follow me. And so we're just going to put you to sleep. And we're out speeding you. Beautiful. So night, night to you. Now's a good turn to swap into Torkoal. And then just start attacking me. The Torkoal, come on down. Actually, I could leave Indeedee in here. This, now we only have single. We have that, but uh, Torkoal's not bad. Nah, we're going to keep Indeedee in here. Just start to add some gleams. The Sleep Powder's definitely helping us out. I think they're just going to cancel match. No, they do not. They're going to let my Executor keep hitting hard. And Daz and Gleam's going to come out here and do some nice damage. Probably not KO. You, you wake up! You wake up! That's a little, that's a little absurd. We don't like that. We actually might lose this. This is looking weird. This is looking weird. You wake up. It's a little crazy. But that's a gleam's gonna fly. And you actually have no double hitting moves. So if I just go into If I just go into Eruption, Dash and Gleam, we win this match, right? Yeah, I should go into Eruption over Heat Wave because it's 100 percent hitting. And even if they do hit me with Stomp and Catch them, that means Daz and Gleam can come out here. So, yeah, I'd rather go into 100% hitting move than to go into Heat Wave and have a chance of that missing. So, they're now going to Terrasalize. Little bit of Terra action. And what typing you got cooking here? Should have done this last turn. You should have done that last turn because then you probably could have soaked up two dash and gleams. But now I don't I don't see you soaking up the next one. So they now Terrasalize and they go for Stomping Tantrum. That's fine. Because now I get off. I actually get off both these. Get off dash and gleam. That should finish it off. Yep, there it is. Too late of a Terra. GG's to our opponent. We're 2-0.
Hopping into our final match for today's video, and we are just lighting up the rank ladder with Executor. We went up against a top tier meta team with first turn priority spam and countered it completely with Indeedee and good swaps. But we're in our final match here, going up against a Wretched Lecky squad. And honestly, I think I want to lead Iron Bundle and Choice Scarf first. Get that booster energy popping, kind of get going from there. That's something I really like. So I'm going to end up leading both of these Pokemon, and then in the back end, bring Torkoal and Executor. That's something I like. Or I can go into Indeedee and Executor, but I just like the Torkoal there. Torkoal can give us some weather control, especially up against a few of the water Pokemon. Plus, it's going to double Executor speed. We don't even need Trick Room. We don't need Trick Room. I don't think we use Trick Room all day today. Have we? No. We just kind of like use Indeedee Torkoal and then just expanding force away. We had a great match in the last one. Those were just some good swaps for us in order to get that Psychic Train and leave it on the field. Considering our opponent actually ended up bringing all the first turn priority Pokemon, Raging Bolt, Entei, Shen Pao, and Dragonite. So that went a little crazy. Then up leading these two. I got Chewy Scarf on my Earth which is great. Um, Iron Bundle, what should you do? Should you Terrasilize here? You could. I kind of want to take out Frigoraph, but if they said Trick Room, they said Trick Room. That's not that big of a deal for me, right? It's really not that big of a deal for me. Because they might just Terrasilize Frigoraph. And at this point, I might just U-turn out of here. U turn might be my play. Yeah, I'm gonna U turn into the Frigograph. And I'm just going to go into a free stride here into the slot. Yeah, I'm gonna try to dip out of here. I'm not dealing with a potential fairy move coming out from. From what's it called? Oh, we get a freeze too from Frigograph. That would just be four times super effective. And we wouldn't wanna deal with that. And he thawed out like that. Like, you should. Like, that should not be a thing. That should not be a thing. <laughs> Come on, man. What is this? That should not be a thing. I knew I should have sucker punched it to the uh, Regilecki, but that's crazy. Did that thing die to, to recoil and all that? No, it didn't. But we end up U-turn doing a nice chunk of damage. And who should I bring in to soak up this shot? It could be Executor. I think we just go into Torkoal here and kind of hope they pop Trick Room, right? That would be awesome if they pop Trick Room here. I'm going to go into Torkoal just in case it's fairy move. So Torkoal's gonna fly out here. Go ahead, pop a trick room. Do me a favor. Pop a trick room. Pop a trick room. Do me a favor. Do me a solid. Yes! Yes! That's so perfect. That's so perfect. So perfect. So Torkoal's gonna be able to thrive. Executor, not really. But I don't mind bringing out Executor here. I don't mind. We're sitting in such a good position. I could bring back out you and just start spamming Sucker Punch. But Torkoal's really gonna thrive here. I'm gonna bring out Executor. I'm gonna bring out Executor, even though it's Dublin Speed and Sun. Torkoal's got his back. I could potentially get off a of sleep, which would be nice. I could potentially get off a of sleep here. So obviously, we're just gonna go for an eruption here. They have no first turn priority. There's no need for us to terrestrialize yet. Um I could sleep powder, maybe Regilecki slot, just in case they choose to swap and survive the shot somehow. So that's gonna be my play. But if anything, they're just dead. They're just they're just dead, right? Bad time to pop a trick room. That was a real bad time to pop a trick room. You got E speed. Of course you got E speed. Of course you got E speed. So you're going to die out to that. Torkoal might have to start spamming heat waves instead. But Eruption should still finish off this uh, this upside down giraffe. Farigaraf. Later. Later, Farigaraf. I love Farigaraf, though. I think it's such a cool Pokemon. Same thing with Giraffe or Rig. Just, they're, just, they're just harmless, right? You can't hate them. I don't think anybody has ever hate them. Just giraffes. <laughs> they're, just, they're legit just giraffes of the Pokemon world. But they throw out their final two, Ursi Luna, and last but not least, Ogre Pond. Okay, so Rage Powder's thing. We're well, not Rage Powder. Follow me's a thing. So from here, I'm actually just going to use my Energy Ball, just in case he wants to put on the mask kind of start attacking me and go for a follow me so i want to go for that and i switched the heat wave over option at this point and that's exactly what they're doing they're putting on the mask and going for follow me just so they can soak up heat wave damage but what they don't know is i'm rocking focus sash and i'm throwing an energy ball, energy ball across that field so i should be able to get off this heat wave and i should be able to get off i should be able to get off both my moves special defense boost is powerful too but let's see no follow me comes out here that's a little it's a little crazy but heat wave's doing some nice damage any burns 
No burns. Blood Moon is flying. It's actually going to bring you down to one. And then he's going to Ivy Cudgel me. Is that the case? You going for a Cudgel Wudgel? Yeah, you're going for a Cudgel Wudgel. So Cudgel Wudgel comes through here. Might KO me in the sun. We might end up eating this up. We do eat it up. Hopefully we don't have vacuum move. Energy Ball is going. That's some solid damage. Not bad damage. If you have vacuum wave, that's a little bit of a problem. How many turns are left in Trick Room? Could just double protect here. Yeah, because I'd rather save those those other turns for my Pokemon. So I'm just gonna do this. See if they're gonna go for a vacuum wave, just to see what they're doing here. Any spiky shield anyway. Okay, cool. So he goes for a spiky shield. We end up clicking the double protect button. And we still have our powerful Urge from the back end. He's going for Hyper Voice. You gotta go. You gotta go. Alright. This is a good battle. This is a good battle. Great way to end today's video. Great way to end today's video. So from here, we're rocking Heat Wave again. And we are just going for Energy Ball. We're looking to KO somebody. I'll send it towards that slot. He ends up going for a double spike shield. Not working in their favor. Not working. Heat Wave's gonna land. Double KO. Almost double KO, but Executor with Energy Ball. Gonna be able to finish off this match. GG's to our opponent. Great match from our opponent, but Executor is just thriving today. Really thriving today. Expanding Forces, Energy Ball, Sleep Powder. We got to use every single move in all the battles. So cool. So cool. But there it is. 3-0. Perfect record with the Gen 1 Executor. There you go, ladies and gentlemen, Executor thriving out in Ranked Regulation Nap. I thought this Pokemon would be good with its moveset, but I didn't think it would be this good. Rocking out, getting 3-0 perfect record, and using it to its fullest potential. We didn't even actually use it in the Trick Room, we just thrived with it with Torkoal, it's dropping the sun, and then Indeedee next to it. Potentially just going for follow me's helping hands, helping this thing do crazy amounts of damage. And you guys seen it, expanding force spam in match number one. It came in the back end, put Pokemon to sleep, and helped us destroy the first turn priority team. Then in the third and final battle, we threw it in the back end again, but this time rocked out with energy ball. So got to use all of its moves and just kill it today. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positive day, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.